Hi everyone. I have a special word that might be encouraging to you today. I thought it would be fitting to sit out on my front porch where a mother bird had made a huge nest. But as soon as I sat down to speak, she flew out and attacked me and I screamed and I ran to the backyard. But it's all good. For some reason, God has always tried to teach me a lesson through bird instances. And I really don't understand it because I'm petrified of birds. But I wanted to share a story that I heard that is very interesting about an eagle. An eagle, just like a mother bird, builds its nest high in the tallest trees and the highest mountain edges. But someone who has observed this majestic bird constructing her home says that she first lays down briars and jagged stones and all kinds of sharp objects which would seem unsuited for her purpose. And then she covers the structure with a thick layer of wool and feathers and the fur of animals that she has killed. This makes a nesting place soft and comfortable. A delightful sanctuary where she may hatch her youngs. In Deuteronomy 32, 11 and 12, it says, like an eagle that stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, that spreads its wings to catch them and carries them aloft. The eaglets will not remain in their inviting cradle for long. The day will come when the mother will stir up that nest just like in Deuteronomy and those prickly things will start making them feel very uncomfortable. She will begin to tear away some of the soft cushionings that they've had for a long time and they will begin to feel pain and struggle and this will make them want to get out on their own and, and begin to fly. And this is the, the mother's objective. She's not being cruel, but instinctively producing discontent with the old life of ease and spurring them on to full development. Wow, that is amazing. I mean, it's a picture of how the Lord promotes growth in us. I mean, he often sends adversity and trying times just to rouse us from our complacency so that we can move on to maturity in Christ. This is good. Strength comes from struggle and weakness from ease. I can relate to that. If the sharp thorns and stones of affliction are irritating you, it is God's grace designed to activate you. A stirred up nest is a token of his special love. I mean, God loves us so much and he wants the best for us. I mean, his ways are higher than our ways, his thoughts higher than ours. I mean, he has so many great things planned for us, but sometimes he has to get our attention. And sometimes we have to, to feel those, those sharp objects, those, those times of, of hurting and uncomfortableness, if that's a word, <laughs> just to get us to the place that we need to be. So I want to encourage you today to spread your wings of faith and soar to new heights of blessings. Thank you. Love you all. Bye-bye.